Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Maria and I love to make crafts, um, whether on wood, fabric, or any anything that I can decoupage. Today I'm gonna show you how to paint a uh, light switch cover for the fall. I'm gonna be adding a pumpkin on this uh, light switch cover so you can use it to decorate your home during the fall season, Halloween. And let's get started. All right, so I have a Bahama blue paint that I will base coat. The light switch cover with. I didn't prime this light switch cover. I just, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, paint on it directly. Before I did that, I removed the screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue on that too. This is a super simple and easy project. So I'm gonna use a hair dryer to uh, speed dry this. That way we can paint the um, jack-o-lantern or pumpkin right away you can base coat this with anything any color that you prefer but I like uh, Bahama blue I think it's just it just adds more um, fun to this light switch cover all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get the hair dryer and blow dry this real quick <coughs> So I'm going to go ahead and add a second coat of this Bahama Blue. Make sure to get the edges. Here. Here. Right now this actually look good. looks good the way it is. But dry a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and get, get a paper towel and get in this to get all that wet, wet paint. point we have some spots on there that haven't been covered by the blue so we can just touch that up later right now this is ready to right now this is ready to be painted with a with a jack-o-lantern so I have this oversized jack-o-lantern that I will put on top of the light switch cover gonna get my pencil and kind of outline it All right. now I have this uh, folk art pure orange for multi-surface uh, painting so I'm gonna go ahead and use that to paint our, our pumpkin Getting a flat brush. What I'm gonna do is add a little bit of white to this so the orange will show a bit. And just 
just let that dry. This will probably require two or three coats. And that's okay because the deeper the orange, the better it is for the jack-o'-lantern to show. got that painted we're gonna go ahead and get the blow dryer again and dry this quick again we're gonna go back with our paper towel and just kind of go in and grab some of that wet stuff in the hole there our second coat. Now you can see on the second part of this, the orange is more vibrant. chance to dry a little bit more and cool off. Now we're going to add the brown stem and I'm using burnt sienna. I'm just getting a small brush. of this orange okay this is not gonna be a super bright orange thing because I'm still gonna add a uh, polka dots on the pumpkin to add our yellow polka dot. And I'm using a, I think it's one half size for this sponsor right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry all the way and then polka dot it with yellow. I also want to go back to this um, to the screws because I painted them blue, so I should have painted them orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm using this multi-surface orange, so that's gonna cover that really good right there. Right. 
I'm just gonna let those dry. And right now, I'm gonna go ahead and um, polka dot our pumpkin with the yellow. So I'm gonna start up here. So it's just giving you a hint of yellow on that. So just to add detail and texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry that again. paper towel to go in this nook here and get just get the orange paint that was stuck in there. There you go. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a liner brush. So I'm gonna be using a liner brush to outline our project. So I have, uh, there's a loose hair on that, so let's trim it. Alright, so I'm using um, three liner brush, number three. So we're just going to use black. Before I forget, I'm going to outline our pumpkin with black and I'm going to be using a, I'm going to be using a oil based marker for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start up here. And we'll just outline it. We're going to show some of the orange out because we're going to fill that in with black later. following a pattern so after that I used a fine let's say fine line now I'm gonna use a bold Broad line, that's it. And uh, outline it, outline the edges and make it look thicker. I can never use a paintbrush to do this, so I always rely on my oil, oil based marker to do some of my detail work. And um, it works and it doesn't ever fade. I mean, I have projects that I made 20 something years ago and they're still, they still look good. dry and I'm gonna use my hair dryer dry that slowly alright now we're gonna put we're gonna add white paint on our plate dot the edges with the white and you can automatically see a difference because this project is going to pop.
I'm just using the end of my uh, brush to dip that. There we go. All right. So now we have all this. Um, now let's let it dry. And we will draw the jack-o'-lantern's face. So for that, we need two triangles. So just do this carefully. Make sure you don't hit the sides here with the polka dots. So just go like that. Do two triangles. And for the mouth. We're gonna make it look like it's missing a tooth down here. And then get that shape up here. And he's missing a tooth down here. And there you go. All right, to make this project easy, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Oil-based marker. It's important to outline when you're making a face like this or something because that way you don't get frustrated if the colors go outside the line. This assures you that your color will just stay inside the line here because you have the barrier of that marker. So what I'm doing is just filling in. Same as the mouth. This is a super quick and easy project. All you have to do is go to a hardware store or if you have your own at home, you can just paint it if you want. The only thing is you can only use this for Halloween or the fall, so you might want to buy a replacement for your everyday needs. Guys, if you like what you're watching, please like and subscribe because I will be posting more DIY videos for home decor, door hangers, and fall and Christmas signs and ornaments. I have a lot of projects that I want to show you. gonna go in there and again following the pattern one of the screw is gonna go on the black side so we're gonna paint that black now there you go all right let's let everything dry and go back to the spots that we missed Like I have this spot right here that I want to cover with Bahama Blue. So I'm just going to go back to that. The acrylic paint alone is not going to hold up on this uh, light switch cover. So when we're done, we're going to brush a decoupage. We're gonna brush the top of it with the decoupage gloss. And when that's dry, we will then top coat it with a DuraClear gloss varnish. That will guarantee that even if you run your finger on there, that thing won't peel off. So now I'm gonna add highlights to my um, the eyes. Just put a little bit of yellow on that. Look alive. There you go. And we will 
whole outline the stem in black to finish it off. Also highlight the circles on the polka dot. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a our black marker to kind of clean out the edges so you're just gonna go up here and clean it like that same as up here just gonna give you that sharp edge All right. I hope you like this video and if you do please don't forget to subscribe like and share it So when everything is dry, we can just put the, when we put it on the wall, there's the screw for the black and the screw for the orange. There you go. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Until my next video, have a great day. Bye bye.